This is Ed at Just Add Power and Joe from Just Add Power. We're working here with Codeman from C4 Forums to do the Just Add Power HDMI over IP solution. The way we do that is the Just Add Power HDMI over IP transmitter is a little box whose only purpose in life is to take an HDMI input like a Blu-ray player, Xbox, uh, Voodoo's, uh, digital satellite, whatever, and convert that HDMI signal into an Ethernet multicast screen. Uh, we do that out on a 100 base TLAN port connected to a 24 port Ethernet switch, which is right over here. For today's 5x9 matrix, we have five sources. So I have five transmitters connected to my five sources on my LAN. Now we have nine screens here because this is a 5x9 matrix demonstration. Each of the screens uses an HDMI over IP receiver. This box's purpose is to connect to the multicast stream on the LAN and to convert that 100 base T LAN back to an HDMI signal and send it to the screen. Now we also have a scaler built in here. What, what that lets us do is we set all our sources at 1080p, either 60 or 24, depending on the content, and we then can show on a, like my memory screen up here is only 720p. It cannot handle a 1080p source, so it scales it to 720p. Now, I've got some other screens here that are 1080p, but this can only handle 60 frames per second. A 24 frames per second signal makes it die, but my scaler fixes that. Our other screens can handle 24, get 24 frames per second. The system is controlled through RS-232 or IP. We already have a Crestron driver, but I'm happy to know that Cytex-1 is uh, endorsed and is getting us a C4 driver, they said by the end of the week. You know, I'll be happy if we have it by the end of the month. And that's going to let you use your C4 system or whatever you want to remotely change channels. Now, for the demonstration, we'll go ahead and change channels here. I got um, a Toshiba Rex screen here. Right now, it's on our Blu-ray player. Let's uh, switch it to the Xbox. It's on the Xbox. Now, let's switch it to one of my Voodoo's. It's on a Voodoo. Let's switch it to another Voodoo. It's on a different channel. Now, let's switch it to a camera. And now, we'll switch back to the Blu-ray player. We instantly switch, and we're able to do this so quickly because we don't have to worry about EDID. As I told you before, there's a scaler in the receiver. So that deals with what resolution the monitor has, and the, the Blu-ray thinks everything it's talking to is 1080p. Instead, all we have to do is send the uh, HDCP keys to the player to say, hey, can I join you? And that's a 100 millisecond handshake according to HDMI standards. So that's how we're able to switch so quickly, is unlike these old school switchers, we don't worry about EDID stuff, we just do the handshake and move on. Nice. All right, thanks guys, appreciate it. Okay.